What's up everybody and welcome back and today it's not very nice outside at all. It's raining, it's just dreary, it's windy, it's cold. It's not a nice day to be outside or to be out working on the backyard bike trails. So today let's do some bike repairs. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I got the bike I'm, that I'm going to be doing the repairs on down in the bike stand. And this bike is my sister's bike. It's a Mongoose 21 speed beginner's mountain bike. It's just, it's pretty much a Walmart mountain bike. It has 26 inch tires. It's, it's a great bike for beginners. And she's been telling me that the brakes on the front wheel are catching and it couldn't, it wouldn't the wheel wouldn't go because the brakes are rubbing and I figured out that the brakes are rubbing because the bolt holding the wheel onto the fork came off right there and so the wheel is really wobbly and only the other side only the bolt on the other side is holding and on this side it totally came off and so the wheel rubs so the brake would just rub and she couldn't go Right there's the problem, and that's a pretty easy fix. I just need to get a bolt and put it on here, and that will keep the wheel from moving back and forth, and then the brakes won't rub. So I went ahead and replaced the nut that was on the other side of the wheel just so that one has a new one and now I have an old one that can go in the junk. Alright, so I got the wheel on tight into the fork and now it goes without hitting the brake at all. But the brake cable is all mangled up the brake like the threads on the cable are starting to come unraveled down here and up here in the brake like I can't even put it all the way in because the brake cable is that much destroyed so I need to go ahead and replace the whole brake cable Alrighty, so I got the old cable pulled out of the cable housing. So now I have a big long new cable here that I got out of my parts bin. So now I need to go ahead and install that into the cable housing and then install the cable housing back onto the bike. Alrighty, so I got the brake all hooked up. It works amazing. It's like perfect. So this wheel is spinning. You can pull the brake and it's perfect. But I have a ton of extra cable because I have really long cables. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip the extra cable off. I always leave about two to three inches on the end. So I have extra cable off. Then you just go and get a little cable crimp, stick that over the end. Then either get needle nose pliers or that's what I use. Or else you can get a special tool to, that's made to crimp the ends, ends of these. I actually use some type of pliers. Go ahead and crimp the end of that really tight. Then that'll keep the cable from frailing. So. That now the bike can run perfectly fine, but now I'm just gonna go over the bike and see if there's anything else on it that could be fixed. Alrighty, so I went over this bike. I 
check the brakes, I check the shifters, I tighten all the bolts on the fork, on the rear shock, and all over the bike. I torqued them, I tightened them, I got this bike up to spec. I adjusted the rear shock a bit, and the thing looks fine. The bike is ready to ride. Just the f one thing is the front shock, the fork here in the front. It's not the best fork, it's an element racing shock, and that's just what comes with Walmart's bikes. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just, yeah, they're great for beginners, it's just this thing, this shock is worn out, it's like four years old, there's a little bit of rust on it, so I would replace it if I had one on hand that like fits this bike, but I don't. The only shock I have on hand right now is this blue element racing shock it would fit this bike but the color on this shock wouldn't fit the bike I'm fixing right now so the fork on it is just gonna have to stay on it so yeah I think this bike is ready to go so yeah that's gonna be it for this video and now this bike is up and ready to ride for my sister she will be glad that's ready to ride so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time